Hello everyone and welcome to the forest. Uh, as you can see behind me we have a beautiful or we are in a beautiful uh, small forest full of coniferous trees and they're displayed in such a beautiful sort of linear uh, grid pattern. Uh, I find it pretty amazing that this space is located amongst such a dense developed area and that's one of the things that I wanted to actually talk about with my sense of place uh, little project here. But to begin sort of unraveling this, this sense of place and what a sense of place is, that's where I wanted to begin. Looking at that sort of Venn diagram of location, uh, sense of place, and we have the locale or the, the center uh, where the two categories overlap. And I believe they overlap once we apply meaningfulness to a physical space, a physical location. So for me, it's not just the fact that um, when I'm talking about a sense of place and being in this forest, I'm talking and I'm reflecting on what this place or this space means to me. And that's when it becomes a sense of place. Nice. Currently I'm hearing a lot of wind, a lot of uh, birds chirping, hopefully you can get that. Uh, but at the same time, we're also hearing a lot of traffic. We're hearing the beeping of construction vehicles and we're hearing at times the, um, the banging of the vehicles as they excavate and they dig within a area that's going to be, that is currently being developed for condos or homes or business parks and that's going to help me describe sort of the like what are some of the emotions that this place gives me or makes me feel uh, we'll get into that later um, in terms of smell I don't know if it's a some kind of I don't know what effect it would be but when I'm in this forest I pay more attention to my breathing and, and um, I classify the air being fresher when I'm within the forests. So I'm not sure if that's just me, um, the the visual affecting my, my sense of smell, but that's, if the air smells fresher here. Uh, in terms of my visual, my sight, this, as described, this is a beautiful sort of grid pattern forest. It's a very unusual scene or setting. Uh, as you um, walk up to it, it just looks like a forest. Um, there's an opening before you get in. But once you get in, it almost feels like you're in this, like it seems like it's been tampered with, either um, planted by individuals and these trees have grown, or it was, I don't believe it was a coincidence that all these trees were planted in such a linear pattern, but it's it truly is beautiful. Um, once you get into the middle of it, it uh, all you see are trees. You can't really see, you see the light coming in from the various directions beyond the forest, but um, it's just trees and trees on trees. To get into what this forest kind of means to me and, and why it has become a, a sense of place or an example of a sense of place is, uh, for one, it's a place of reflection for me. I'm able to have sort of an outdoor education or uh, an outdoor experience amongst a very heavily developed area. We're in Hamilton, we're amongst a lot of development here, and I'm still able to get that connection and feel that connection with, with nature and with the outdoors. It inspires me to explore how we can achieve this outdoor experience, outdoor education experiences with schools that are within a densely uh, uh, an urbanized environment, a very uh, developed environment. How can we still get them to experience and get hands-on experience with the outdoors? This place also evokes um, an emotion of frustration. Um, even though this is it's a beautiful little space, um, I don't know if it's going to be staying here. I don't know. Uh, I'm fearful. I see a lot of orange tags on these trees. Um, I see the boundaries of this forest become smaller and smaller as development increases right beside it. And I don't 
see this space lasting forever. Um, and it's unfortunate that I have to think that, but that's just essentially what I uh, think about um, reflecting on sort of the battle between development and preservation and conservation. Um, if you take the Red Hill Valley Expressway as an example of that, right, we had a beautiful trail in and around Mount Albion area and it got a highway dumped on it and after that I just kind of lost a, some some hope in terms of uh, if natural areas will be preserved forever. There definitely is a sense of wonder here. Uh, my imagination goes in a variety of directions. Uh, I question how this forest came to be and I'm inclined to believe that it was plant all these trees were planted here in very straight lines and they all grew to the where they're at today and it's weird because when we're within the city or close to an urban environment I'm inclined to think that there's no way this was natural if I drove you know three hours up north to Algonquin and if I saw a forest like this I wouldn't question that it was natural so this is just something to think about and something that I'm currently reflecting on Okay, so thanks everyone for joining me in the forest here. Uh, I hope I captured it as best as I could um, in terms of what we're looking at for this sense of place assignment. Uh, I feel I did, but uh, definitely open to any constructive uh, opinions and thoughts or to help me understand a sense of place more. Uh, it's a growing definition for me and a growing understanding. So, Until next time, we shall see you, see you on Saturday.